Why won't you die? <laughs> Physical trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack. Welcome to episode 10 of 101 Udyr Builds. Today I bring you a build that I like to call Masochist Udyr. This build derives pleasure from pain and helps his allies best by soaking damage in teamfights. Are you disturbed yet? Good, then let's get straight to the items. Our first item is gonna be Moonstone Renewer. All of its stats are great for Udyr and the cheap price of 2500 gold make it easy to rush. The really interesting part though is Moonstone's effect. When affecting champions with attacks or abilities in combat, heal a nearby allied champion. 2 seconds cooldown. But a wild Udyr? I'm not a ranged enchanter who can spam trigger this item every two seconds. Well, lucky for us, Udia has a very special interaction with Moonstone. Since our Q, W and E apply self buffs, they count as affecting a champion with abilities and will trigger Moonstone. We essentially heal our teammates every time we switch stances. This already makes Moonstone very spammable. To top this off, we build Bramble Vest afterwards. When somebody auto attacks you, while you have Bramble Vest, it will damage the champion that attacked you. This recoil damage also triggers Moonstone's effect. So whenever an enemy does that, they're not only damaging you, but also themselves, which in turn heals your teammates, and therefore creates a three-way of pain and pleasure. Build out your Bramble Vest into a Thornmail against heavy attack damage teams for maximum pain. Versus a lot of magic damage, build a Spirit Visage first before finishing Thornmail. Combining the 25% heal and shield boost of Spirit Visage with the 25% boost of Moonstone will roid up your turtle stance to a before unprecedented level. Additionally, it will of course also buff your Moonstone healing. The rest of our build is more tank items, so we can endure as much punishment as possible while dishing out recoil damage and heals. Being a bit lackluster in the movement speed department, I would suggest rounding up the build with Deadman's Plate and Force of Nature. Speaking of movement speed, here comes our primary rune page, consisting of Face Rush, Nimbus Cloak, Celerity and Water Walking. Going these runes allows us to put early points in turtle instead of bear stance without being punished for it. For our secondary rune page we take conditioning to increase the value of our tank items and revitalize to add to our ever increasing collection of heal and shield boosts. But you can also trade in revitalize for unflinching for some baseline tenacity. Masochist Udyr shines the brightest in skirmishes and teamfights, where he can soak damage, peel for teammates and keep a constant stream of healing going. So you are definitely looking to play around your allies. But even when you are alone, Moonstone Renewer will grant you the bonus healing and shielding. As for skill points, Max Phoenix first, Turtle second and Bear Stance last. Phoenix Wave Clear will bring in lots of gold for items, which allows us to stack Moonstone's Mythic passive harder than those piss poor supports. We max Turtle second so we get the highest possible value out of our shield and heal boosts. And that is how you play the masochistic Moonstone Shaman Udia. Now come here, I assure you it won't hurt. 